in the last two months. <laughs> oh no. Playheart is just fainting the arrows here. And then finally hits Whitemon. Alright. Well, they didn't do anything with that. Fatal Bond's kind of deterring them a little bit. One of the better spells from a support in the game. If not one of the best, okay. but Yopaj getting the kill on a Carl. And this is where my faith lies. Yeah, he won't do it. But survives. But it also gave away the ward from Daya. Oh, not a oh, first strike again. And this time, oh my god. Wow, Carl's Carl, just gotta, getting out on the skin of his teeth. You gotta relax, bro. Man. <laughs> Carl is a madman. Stepping up on that is such a risk. Play art here, too, is kind of a risk, but it is what it is. Zephyr going down. Jungwo getting the kill on that one. Cuckoo trying to fight, not sue me. Not I'm working out. Maybe smoke out with his teammates. Yeah, Yopaj with an early move could really be a difference maker for the early part of this game. For sure. Like, if he gets a good epicenter on the Brute or a PL, he's going to be very impactful. Drink well used, coming down bot for Natsumi. Leashed up, fire snap cookie in the shredder with the damage like the they lose. Up. So far, like, I think they got out of this early game much better than I thought they would be. They have smoked up right now. But it feels like they're missing their opportunities, right? Mortimer's kisses, they've got the Dream Coil, and there's the Ice Blast, Arrow's not gonna land, they get the kill on Natsumi, they look over, Zephyr trying to get away, Star Storm on him. You should have the right quick damage to take out this Snapfire, and they do. Man, that Arrow, yeah. but they have to be also careful, like the team fight of Neon is no joke. This Epicenter can cause a lot of damage, especially with AA. Snapfire? He didn't silence the Epicenter, okay. And so they're gonna get the kill here on a Zephyr, they look over at Carl, Dream Coil on a both willing to snap it and bro strike just comes up a little bit short potentially getting that kill King quill on the sinking with the kisses Wait, but no sentry ward okay that's coil and kisses down where's the sentry ward if you plan this move like he's gonna sandstorm guys this is his ability Makes no sense that they just didn't have Mirana. the sentry ready to go, and now Mirana caught Chaotic Offering. They kind of just walk into this. He has Stampede, but he's super tanky. He doesn't even care. A little bit too willing, I would say, to allow that to happen. But if you got a good timing with it, why not? It's not the biggest fan. I feel it could be much more utility. Stampede and oh, Shadow Amulet. White Mon getting caught. Arrow there with the Burrow Strike. This game is really slow for an SEA game. Yeah. 11 kills, 20 minutes, and now it's time to fight a rogue. Usually, not an easy fight at all. And Centaur still has 4K net worth that he doesn't didn't spend because he's waiting for his relic. Arrow, Stampede, arrow comes in, ice blast on the way, and it's not even needed. They use that epicenter to get the Dream Coil down on the three. One. Kisses, BKB pop by Natsumi, Yules into the air by Yopaj, so these kisses aren't really going to do a lot. Stifling Dagger thrown over on a 23. They look over at Playhard as they use those triple leaps to try and leave in the Moonlight Shadow to escape. Another Stifling Dagger thrown away of Cuckoo. No return here for T1. Healing up the PA. Ah, but the Fatal Bonds. Cancel it immediately. And they're smoking up. They want to get a pick off potentially on the Brute, no buyback. Real strike in onto the Snapfire, Arrow following it up. Hits while the Aeon Disc is on Zephyr. But the damage coming in from the Stifling Dagger as well as the kill there for CTM will secure an advantage for Neon, 5v4. And now back to Roche. I don't really think there's anything I can do about this. They have Coil, but... They just have no damage. Real strike missing. Got the Yules, Epicenter, and the Ice Blast coming in onto White Mon. Didn't kill him. Goes into the Glimmer Cape. They should be able to follow up. They've got the arrow and a right click from Natsumi. All the from, from a base, base, right? Yeah. Okay. Arrow comes in, hits onto the Sapphire. Right click's coming through from Natsumi with the BKB pop. They'll go after this, but they've got that Glimmer Cape again. BKB pop there, shitty. So PA may not be able to fight into this, and they're going to lose play hard because of that. Okay, Get good play. You can. Recognize that I believe Centaur is a beat bottom. Do you just get the retaliate aura? 
it's good. Yeah. For your entire team. Helps a lot against Peel. But it's all based on his strength. Stifling Dagger crits on Cuckoo. Ag's finally picked up by Natsumi, but it's gotta be delivered. Burrow Strike hits on a Carl. They've got the Ice Blast, the Banshees, the Fire Staff, Cookie, and the Chaotic Offering coming down on a two with the Fatal Bonds on a couple no, of these here. Heroes. They're trying to get the kill on to Natsumi. They'll take up the Aegis for now. It's just one. And now Natsumi's gonna jump in. Pops the Aeon Disc on Zephyr. Natsumi now dealing with that BKB. They've got the Epicenter as well as the Burrow Strike. They'll look to get the kill on a 23. The Dream Hill is going to be placed down on a play hard. They get the kill on a John Well. They'll take the Ancient Apparition, but the right clicks in on a 23. They'll take out this Phantom Lancer. Lose play hard. It's a two for one, but certainly one that's beneficial for Last Neon. Well, so the percentage Killing damage just make a lot of sense. Like imagine somebody says 30%. You get Ice Blast and Phantom Knife gone. Yeah. Potentially I would say Shard on either PA or Centaur feels like the right choice. Yep. And you've been advocating for the Centaur Shard, so... Except for... Ice Blast. He might just walk into this one. Yep. What John happened there way? He has so much health in the right Centaur. <laughs> like they can't even damage him. His health is... 4,400 health. Yep. What they need to do is get a good Fatal Bounce on him and a couple of teammates and just beat him to a pulp. And then his teammates will die too. I'm dead. I'm dead. They're not touching the centaur. No, and they'll end up losing Waymon, who stumbles around, I guess, trying to get something done. Dream Coil down and a play hard. Ghoul's hitting this pot. Mortimer's Kiss is coming through with the right clicks from Natsumi on to this brood. Carl now dominating with that kill on a play hard. Ice Blast did land on a puck if they can get the damage out there no and catch separated. him. And yeah, they're gonna separate this team, but the right click's coming through. The Chaotic Offering comes down and the Burrow Strike away from Yopaj. He's trying to get out of dodge. The BKB and now Natsumi TPing out. He'll escape. And so will the rest of the team. And PA is not the only problem. The Centaur is a yeah, massive Kaya now. He's going Bloodstone. Okay. Interesting. Based. I was a big advocate for uh, Kaya Saint on him. I think that's really good. Burrow Strike coming through on a Zephyr. And Yopaj has that psychic headband to push him back into the rest of his team. But Carl kills Jem well while all that's going on. It takes a little while to kill Zephyr, but eventually it's a one for With one. any problems you have. They're in the Roche, they'll throw a Spiderling near the pit. Get the Aegis Cheese and the and Shard. If they don't get there in time, both these heroes level 24 too on Neon. We're gonna send the illusions forward again with the Spiderlings, not Sumi, bailing from the pit for a second. The Spiderlings are all burning. You'd think they'd wanna just go and get this Roche. Except for... And he gets caught away from his team, but Carl coming around the back. They've got the Chaotic Offering. That's gonna land on the two, but the right click comes through and a Zephyr. They'll get the kill onto the Snapfire. Right clicks and he crits. No, not yet. Dream he missed the down, but he missed it. 23, while this is going on, he's gone, drops to CTM, and it's a botched initiation here from T1. They really wanted this, and they come away with nothing. The PA should have died there, but the coil missed. Just yeah. on the edge. He's got the shard. Shard goes to... Marana? I hope not. Him, so his blink will be disabled. I would say at this point, do you want Cuckoo Bottom just pushing? I want a Cuckoo Bottom pushing the entire game. I don't know why he's not doing it. Like, he's not doing anything in the base. They jump oh, in. Now, Sumi going deep. He's got this Aegis to play with, but you don't want to just give away a life for free. This, is. this has come down. Dream Coil out. Pops the Satanic back to full. Also pops the PKB, though. That BKB is going to be on cooldown for another 70 seconds. Puck trying to go to the back lines. Hex. Hex. They've got the damage, and Carl's gone. I think the Hex surprised them. Newly picked up from the tanking, so yep. And also, they're just standing there. I mean, CTM is just able to stand there. And Burrow strike. Now the arrow. Thinking about the Chaotic Offering, that gets dropped down the on Korea. They've got themselves the double goal of Doppelganger trying to turn this one out. They're down 20k. This would be a big comeback for them to have, 
but you've got the stampede. You land the hex. You work over 23. Gets the doppelganger off once again. Carl Bash first hit from Matsumi. Now pops the Minotaur horn once again. They finally get the kill to play hard, but they end up losing 23. He's got himself buyback. Right clicks coming in on a white line who saved himself with the Glimmer Cape. Gets up onto the high ground and will elude death for a moment. Oh, to be so careful here. Now he's got that Bloodstone, Lotus Orb, Crimson, Radiance, Heart. As well as that pipe. Not even holding boots. They're just in his backpack. Junko comes out. It's going to be through on a Yopage. They've got the silence. Anunatsumi. Mortimer's Kiss is coming in. Arrow. They're going to land that on a car who pops the Minotaur Horn. They've got the Ice Blast flying in into the Moonlight Shadow. They need the vision to try and go for this. But even with the jump forward, they don't get much from it. Scatter Blast. Atsumi getting a little bit low, but he's got that Aegis to play with. Pops Ooh. the Satanic in the BKB once again. Gets a Banish out of the car. The Stifling Gagger comes through to 23. They get a kill on the Phantom Lancer. He doesn't have buyback anymore. The Burrow Strike lands on a Cuckoo. That's again, it, Zephyr it. comes in for the save, but it's not going to matter. He can't save this game. And, well, Neon will take game number one. Yep. A little bit of a coin up here. Which T1 do you get? Oh, got the cold one. Yeah. And I uh, really got to say, no more brute for T1. This.